Hey everybody, it's Karen and Stephanie with Food and Family. Now, she is going to make us an English sticky toffee, toffee sauce. sauce. That's hard to say. It is. And I love toffee. I do too. So I am excited about this. So, what do you say? Yes. And we had, me and Brandon recently went to a dinner and they had this on a bread pudding. Mmm. It was so good. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one stick of butter and add it. I've already got the pot heating. All right. We're going to add our one cup of brown sugar. See, you've already started out with the best. One could stick of butter. <laughs> yes. Did y'all know how we are with our butter? And while I'm, this is going, will you pour me out one cup of heavy cream? Sure. Mmm. All right, so we got one, one stick of butter. We're going to do one cup of brown sugar. Oh, my goodness. Well, that already smells good. Yes. I like to get cream, heavy cream, when it's got that cream settled mm -hmm. already, and you can take those little pieces of cream. Oh my goodness. Just get this mixed up really good. I, I see, make sure I didn't turn it down too far, because I turned it down for you. Okay. We're not going to cook this, we just wanted to get it good and mixed. So we're, now we're going to add our one cup of heavy cream. So that is a lot like making a caramel. Yeah. My goodness. Just the ratios are different. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and we're gonna add a pinch of salt. Just a pinch of salt. Let me grab it. Just a small pinch. Mm-hmm. How about that? Yeah, it'll work. That salt kind of cuts. It brings to me, it brings out the sweetness. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and sweet or savory. You know, Stephanie, this is smelling. It already smells divine. <laughs> yes, it does. Mm-mm-mm. Can you, oh, y'all can see down in that pan. I know you can. Doesn't that look good? All right, now that we've got it mixed well, you don't want to over stir it at the beginning. And once it gets to bubbling, we're going to cut the heat up just a little bit. So at this point, we're only stirring occasionally? Occasionally. So it's like making a homemade fudge. Mm -hmm. Once you get it going, back up and leave it alone. Yeah. Not like the three minute fudge. Oh man, that fudge. smell. It, it, it smells divine. It, it, I don't know how else to say it. And it looks. And I love toffee and we, uh, me and Brandon had that dinner and had the bread pudding with the scoop of ice cream with this drizzled on it. It was so good. Mm. I love bread pudding anyway, and it's so easy pudding. to make. Um, Carrie's making it her oatmeal cake. Y'all seen Carrie's oatmeal cake uh, video? If you haven't, go out and look. And if I don't forget, I'll try to link it below in the description box. But this would be good drizzled over that oatmeal cake. Oh, yeah. And she puts a topping on it with coconut anyway. That'd be Delicious. But this would be divine over that. All right. So this really don't take and long no, to make. No, and all your weight. So we cut the heat up a little bit. And so all we're doing now is waiting on it to darken and kind of thicken up. And it's a sauce. So you can kind of, however thick you want your sauce to be. But you want it to be a little thick. Um, so we're, you just wait, wait for it to darken up and thicken. So I would imagine what, I mean, of course we can store it in like a mason jar 
a ball jar, but what you don't use, put over, oh, yeah. put it in the fridge and, and just take it out and use it when you want to. Mm -hmm. it smells delicious. All right, so let's let this darken up and thicken up and we're gonna come back and she's gonna get this finished for us, okay? We are back and this has thickened up pretty nicely, what, 12, maybe 12 minutes at the most. I don't think that long. It's nice and thick. Um, yeah, that is some delicious looking. I tell you what, yeah, that's the perfect thickness yep. right there. Now we got out a jar, so, but we'll let it cool a little bit and then we're going to put it over in this jar. But with these mason jars, ball jars, they're made that you can put it in there hot, but we would rather, the house is cool and that's cool, so I don't want to do it until it's cooled a little bit. And once this cools a little, it's going to thicken up as it cools. Um, like she said, we put it in the fridge when you use it. But once you heat it up, it's going to be ready to pour and drizzle again. Mm -hmm. So you can scoop out just what you want and use that. Yeah. I, I can't wait to taste this, but I know it's too hot right now. Yeah. This will uh, oh, scald your tongue off. We're forgetting an ingredient at this oh, point. Oh, we're not. Vanilla. Oh, well done. Oh, you can't forget the vanilla. I forget the vanilla. Oh, we can't forget the vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. And if a little extra spills in, it don't hurt nothing, it don't does hurt it? Nothing. You measure, I don't. I oh, hear that sound when you poured that in there. Yeah. <sighs> and that's why you wait till you're done with the cooking process. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because Smell if that. you put that in there, that yeah. vanilla's going to cook away. Yes, because and it's, it's, it's der deriving from alcohol, the, van mm -hmm. the vanilla bean. Yeah, because we use pure vanilla. vanilla instead of imitation. Imitation has its place. I had to use it for years because it's less expensive. So if that's what you have and that's what you buy, by all means, use it. Still put it in at the end. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Looky there. Yep. That would be wonderful over ice cream. Uh, yes, ice cream is what I was going to say. She reads my mind. <laughs> we got that telepathy yes, thing going. Yes, we do. All right. We hope we would try this, but it's just too, too hot, hot right now. But we can so, tell you it's going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious. So uh, we certainly appreciate all of y'all, and we hope you're going to make this. And, um, uh, Make it this weekend while you're at home, and it don't take no time. Serve it over ice cream, a pan yeah, of brownies. It, it took no time at all, and it stores well, so you've got it all whenever you want it. Yeah, or go out and find Carrie's oatmeal cake and make it. And if you have the cookbook, it's in the you know, in the cookbook. Yes. So, um, but we hope you'll make it. And uh, yeah, please come back and join us because we certainly enjoy having each and every one of you with us. And we appreciate all of you. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, hit that notification bell so you'll know when we put out another video. You ready to do some more recipes? Yes. We, we'll have more coming up for you. I'll stay tuned. Bye, everybody.